Dudettes, Duderinos. Sorry for uh, coming in late. Long night at work, you know. Gotta do the biz. But anyways, how are you guys doing? Good tonight? Alright, I'm not gonna waste too much time here for you guys. I know you guys want me to get straight to it, so we're gonna get straight to it. Let me knock this out real quick. If you're not following, please follow. Feel free to hit that follow button. It, it means so much to me. Alright. So, hopefully you guys are doing alright. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, get straight to it. The next station <clears throat> is Salt Cellar Lane. Previously, on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. I'm gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Paper Dawes, Chapter 5, Making Do. Well, wish me luck. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you've got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. You got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Beat the pack alpha. <laughs> you want to mince your breath is in gross. All right. I can do this. Get in there. Bring home the bacon. CVs? Pointless. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper, you agree? It's all about the one-on-one. -on -one. Man on man. Sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual. Someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. Oh, good. Because I'm not looking for a stressful life. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A bored to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. You're looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? L Liverpool? Top lad. Well, you'll never walk alone around here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. <laughs> we are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say, don't shit on your own doorstep. Yeah, and don't piss into the wind. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Get <laughs> in! The sooner the better. Aced it. I start tomorrow. Woo woo! Pizza on Dad.
Who wants stuff crossed? I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. What's up with Jack? Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Chicken! <laughs> Dad! I know say it, I'm running late. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to, you know, really loudly. I guess the snoring must have stayed in your old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs. Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. Maybe I can say I have two dads. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those pull-out sofa beds. Actually, Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the sofa bed. That way I can watch TV all the time. Like the tie. Damn, I look sharp. Let's go. Forgot something? Did I? Uh, um. Phone. I'll ring it. Did I really? Ah, uh, I got the sniffles. Okay. Easy does it. What you doing? Morning. I just needed my phone. <sighs> Brace ya. Dad. Let's go. I ain't gonna let you beat me this time. Too slow. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. Xavier? So I got a strange note through my door from someone called the Vape Lord? Is that you? Hello, yes, that was me. Which one am I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else, have you? Uh, no. Have you got something to do with all this? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast, you know, behind the curtain. Good show, that. Bit too many ads, but who am I to complain? Anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. Who's Frank? What are you on about? You know, Frank, the guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. A curse? He did this! Where is he? Switch us back! Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. You know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him. Bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. Such a shame he left so soon. Fine. Look, just tell me where he is, and I'll book a flight and meet him. But to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e-liquid as compensation, and that'd be the end of it. Are you having a laugh? I want this sorted! If you really want to see him, I guess I've got no choice. 
this is going to break the bank. All right, listen, I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Give him Domino's number. Don't make a habit of being late like this. Sorry, you're right. I'll step it up. So how are you finding mucking in with us? Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? He was happy for me to take it over some idiot that Clive might have hired. I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. He worked so hard here just to be discarded like that. Sometimes you get a second chance in life. You never know. Maybe. Well, get a move on, Mr. Ambitious. Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. I'd better get inside. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime, you know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? I mean, as friends. I could bring John along if you want. Nah, you're good. I think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. We'll have to talk about how we can manage that temporary... Jackie boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's going to have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you-know-who. Ha-ha! <laughs> Have you been sharing doctored photos of me? I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I didn't get I no got pictures. Them. And classics, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, they're definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them any time soon. I figured they'd want to be another joke too. You sly goose. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? Whatever it is, it made me laugh. A classic, you could say. Piss. <sighs> Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. You are number one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. Mm. Must be nice. Their box heavy, bro. Hey, Shaz. Hey, I'm heading home. Walk to the station. That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. He had it coming. Total wanker. John has been avenged. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love to hear about this. Same time tomorrow. Promise I won't be late again. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Tell John that I'm missing, OK? Why don't you like 
like us anymore, Jack. I thought we were friends. Dad, Jack's leaving us. Yeah, all right, Molly. But now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. You know, try and get my life back on track. He's moving up north. I applied for a uni course in Hull. Computer science. I've got the loans sorted and everything. It starts in September. Where's all this come from? I thought we were doing well. This is a decision we need to make together. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I can let you leave. What about Molly? Have you thought of that? Yeah. What about me? You can't let me. There's more to me than these four walls. We love you, Jack. Please don't leave us. We have to face the facts here. We aren't ever going to be the same again. You realise I've got a mum and dad, right? I've got mates. I, I need to figure out how to explain this to them. You're wrong. Listen, I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the Vape Lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You got to be a young man again, but I've lost out on 20 years. Just shut up for once and listen. This guy can reverse the effects. He knew all about us. Doesn't that interest you? He's playing a prank on you, you idiot. He's winding you up. He's pulling your string. I have never met anyone so unwilling to face the music. When you're having a bad run, sometimes you have to press reset. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus, and you could try going to the gym occasionally. Dad, you're hurting him. Are you all right? Something's wrong. Dad, do something! Help me. Jack! I'm sorry, did I pick the wrong answers? Because I thought I was calming the fucking situation down. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, let's continue this show, shall the we? The next station is Platt Square. Previously on Last Stop. You've just had your second exam. How'd it go? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Let me just have a chat with her. Stay away from my daughter. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's like you don't care. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? Domestic Affairs, Chapter 5, Unfinished Business. Stop bothering me. I'm at work. Hey, Felix. How's it going? You up to much? I feel like we're gonna go assassinate somebody, so maybe we should dress to the occasion, huh? This looks about right, let's go there. How come you're taking me to school today, and not Dad? Oh, well, I just thought it'd be nice for a change. Spend some time with you. Dad's okay, though.
Yeah, Dad's fine. Why all the concern? Oh, I don't know. Is everything okay? Yeah. You sure? I don't know. He's avoiding my gaze. He looks nervous. Why? He's hiding something. It has to be. He knows about fair. Suspicion level. Oh, 94.3. He's on to me. Okay, let's have it. What's on your mind? Are you leaving Dad? What? Where did that come from? No, I'm not leaving Dad. I heard you both arguing last night and throwing things at each other. That why you're taking me to school today, and not Dad, because you're making him leave. Uh, Dylan, that's no. ridiculous. What gave you that idea? Parents fight sometimes, but we still love each other. But you two fight all the time, and you're hardly ever home. So I thought maybe you didn't like being with us anymore. Okay, stop. This has nothing to do with you, okay? You don't need to worry about this. Okay. Listen, Dylan, I've got to run. I've got an appointment before work. You're not ill, are you? No, nothing like that. Just catching up with an old friend. You stalk him no. now? No. I just thought we could have a chat. Dad told me what you accused me of. Pathetic. So it wasn't you? You're a mother. And you've got what, a little boy? Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. Okay, forget about that. That's done. Now... It's very important that I hear that you admit that you sent that note. I can't believe you. Leave me alone. Um. This is your final chance. Did you send the note? Are you threatening me? I didn't send the damn note. You need to get your act together. Sort your life out and leave us alone. Bust a cap in her as she's walking.
with him in the end, uh, you would benefit from the extra perspective. Right. Listen, Dad, I've got to go. Make sure you sort that door out. Please. It's important. Yes, yes, child. Spider. We gonna kill? She didn't bring a tarp or a shovel, so I guess not. No, I'm stuck. Come on. Oi, spider. Too much of a coward to come after me. You have to go after my elderly dad instead. Look who it is. Come to return my driving license, or are you after my library card this time? Didn't I make myself clear last time? You really are a moron. A stupid little moron. Ooh, harsh words. Tell you what, give me back my license and we'll forget the whole thing. And that note you left me is going to be used as evidence. Don't try and deny it. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what note? I'm not going to let anyone put my life, my family, at risk. What did you mean about a note? I didn't write any note. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back or I'll put them there for you. This is a setup. You're trying to pin something on me. You've got a gun. Came prepared this time, didn't I? Are you sure you know what you're doing with that? I know I'm a screw-up. I bust into your dad's place. Fair cop, you got me. But I'm not taking the fall for any made-up notes or anything. Hmm. Okay, Spider. Statistically, when a person with a nervous disposition is pointing a loaded gun, it tends to go off. So why don't you just lower it for a bit, and we'll continue talking. Just trying to make something of myself. I'm trying to get my fair share. But someone's always there to kick the legs out from under you. I'm just trying to do my best, you feel me? I feel you. You don't know nothing. I had it all laid out. I had a plan. Everyone's got a plan. You do whatever your superiors tell you to do, and things still go off the rails. You what? The amount I sacrificed for this. All that stupid shit other people care about. But it's still not enough to get what you want. And what do I see for my efforts? A blackmail note on my doorstep. If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Someone out there has it in for me. I'm sorry I broke into your dad's place. That that was low. Have your driver's license back. Let's just agree to never see each other again. Deal? I'm all for that. You're a crazy woman. Put the gun down, drop it now. Amy? What is this? You were playing me. Back away, Mina. I've got uh, this. What's up with the different three fucking Amy's? What the What the hell are you doing here, Amy? You were just keeping me talking until backup arrived. Drop the weapon immediately. I won't ask again. Do you two know each other? I'm not going to go to prison for something I didn't do. Amy, you don't need to do this. I have it under control. Drop the gun this instant. Bitch, you drop the gun. I said drop it. You drop it. Drop the gun. Both of you. Calm the hell down. Damn. Okay. No exit wound, another organ trombone. It's really likely. Hand can't lift her hand to stop bleeding. Loss, loss control. Dark blood indicative. Hemorrhage. Ugh. Head, pupils dilated, shallow breathing. And survival 28%. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. Oh God, it's bad, isn't it? You did. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And what about the other guy? Did I get him? Um. Yeah, I think he's dead. I don't understand. What are you doing here? Oh, I hurt so bad. Okay, I'm gonna call for help. Wait a minute. Dumbass. Oh. That makes sense. Wait a second. She couldn't have, could she? You're the one who sent me that note. I need to go to hospital. It was you all along. You've been spying on me. What else have you got on me? I'm dying, Nina. Listen to me carefully. You're gonna give me everything you've got on me. Okay? Please, Nina. Mm. Give me the key to your flat. And I'll call an ambulance. She's dead. She's dumb. Why wasn't she wearing a fucking bulletproof vest? Or do you not get that until you're an agent? She's just a rookie. She's a trainee. They don't give they don't give you a bulletproof vest. They give you a loaded gun though. She was pretty good aim. Got out of the way. Pull a Neo out of her ass and dodge the bullets. All right, enough of that. Let's go. Stranger danger. Here we go, guys. The next station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. Oi, Viv! What the hell are you doing? Are you all right? I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. You are truly losing it. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. Mum's I'm... ill. I need to be spending time with her. It's your mum. How soon can you get here?
Stranger Danger, Chapter 5, Confessions of a Kid. I need to stretch my legs. Do you want anything from the machine? No. I just can't believe this. How does something like this happen? She was fine the other day. She hasn't been well, Donna. Yeah, but nothing serious like this. Are you two Miss Adelaki's daughters? Yeah, that's right. How is she? She's resting now, but she is stable. So she's going to be okay? We'll know more when we get the test results back, but that won't be until tomorrow. In the meantime, the doctor has requested that we postpone any visitors until tomorrow, just so she can get her strength. I don't get it. Can't we just see her? We don't have to wake her up or anything. I'm sorry. Come on, Donna, let's go. Fine. Mum didn't want you to know. I thought you should, and I tried to tell you, but I just wasn't very good at it. I'm sorry, Donna. No, you did try and tell me, and I just palmed it off like it was nothing. Maybe if I'd spent more time around the house than with that stupid man. What man? It happened a few weeks ago. But it's fine. I know him now. He won't go to the police. What are you talking about, the police? What have you done? <laughs> I think I've made a terrible mistake. It's okay. Donna, listen to me. I need you to tell me exactly what's happened and show me where this man is. Okay. I'll show you. So go over it again. One night, on the way home from netball practice, I realised someone was following me. A strange man. And he attacked you? Yeah. <gasps> and you ended up in the swimming pool? Well, yeah. He ran away. He stole my phone. And that's when you tied him up? Yeah, you know, citizen's arrest. So stupid. You could have got yourself killed. Why didn't you call me straight away? And get a bollocking? <laughs> no thanks. You should have told me, Donna. to spy on him. He broke in. And that's when he attacked you? The other way around? You attacked him? Shit! Donna! That's assault! GBH! It was self-defence. I thought he was an alien. This is getting <laughs> ridiculous. Done. I'll come with you. He only speaks to me. How am I going to explain this to the Sarge? What? I only told you so you could help me, not make things worse. I'm a police constable. I can't just cover this up like in some movie. 
What did you think I was going to do? Mm. Wait a second. It was bullshit. A, a story. I made it up. Wait here. What are you doing? Get off of me! Just shut the hell up and stay here. Come back, Emma, please! Give me your hands. I need my handcuffs back. Okay. Stay still. Emma, talk to me. Do you not get it? Mum's dying. And we're out here playing one of your games. Sorry. I think there's something wrong with me. The problem is, Donna, I don't think I can believe anything you say. Please, Emma. I messed up. I'm sorry. I'm going to be at the hospital. Join me if you want. I don't care anymore. I should be angry, but I think you actually saved me by not being here a moment ago. What's happened, Donna? What do you want? To be your friend. Friends don't keep friends hostage. I don't know if I've got any friends left. What do you mean? None of this makes sense. I don't remember things. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't stay here anymore. This has run its course. You're free to go. This is about your mother. Yeah, so? She's dying. In fact, she's almost gone. Yeah, and that's why I'm done with this. Goodbye. If you want my help, you only have to ask. You're not a doctor. What could you possibly do? What do you have to lose? Ask me. Huh? What happened? Boy, that chapter made me uh confused. Mean what? What happened there? <laughs> Anyways. Guess you guys are gonna have to wait till next time because 
I'm only doing one chapter per stream. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh. Hmm. Let me know which story is your favorite so far. And then, uh. I'll be, I'll be back with this tomorrow. Same time after work, all that jazz. If I'm re if if I can, I'll probably do this in between jobs, but we'll see. So I want to see what's what's going to happen next in Chapter 6. Y'all um, take it easy. Have a good night. Good day. Uh, stay safe. If you're not following me, please feel free to do so. I play this and all sorts of other games. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. See you guys next time. Peace out.